My name is Boris Zakic. Um, I teach at Georgetown College. Um, I curated a, um, a thematic exhibition called The Invisibility of Pictures. I think overall uh, the image is in many ways almost devices by which a viewer approaches them and makes sense of what the image may be, but at the same time becomes aware of, of, of thinking of those very images, almost as if uh, the images anticipate every interpretive step by the viewer and they kind of reflect back on them. My name is Daryl Kinser. I teach at Georgetown College and I'm in charge of teaching digital media and photography. The work that's here in this show uh, comes from a, a series of work that's uh, produced in the darkroom, which a lot of people are doing things that are digital. This is nice. It goes back to the darkroom working with uh, photograms, very straightforward type of imagery. Uh, sometimes it's so simple that it's, that it's difficult to produce something. Sometimes it's always interesting. Uh, but this process also works with an alternative photographic method uh, called bordensage. It's something that takes an existing silver print and continues to modify, change uh, in ways that are somewhat predictable but, but also unexpected. I think that these pieces speak on a number of different levels. Um, they're typically eye-catching because the process is not something you see every day with Mordensage. Uh, so there's something that immediately draws you in uh, to the imagery, but I think at the same time, once spending a little bit more time with it, there's this chance to really sort of uh, fill yourself with the ideas, with the images, to maybe perhaps uh, understand that idea of seeing, seeing a place in your mind's eye, having a recollection, having, having a memory, and sort of having this type of uh, physical, tangible sort of expression of that. Using this process of Mordon Sage, it creates something that's a little bit unexpected, something that in a way is somewhat dreamlike, something that's a little bit hard to grasp or see or understand. And so I think it kind of matches up with this idea of uh, reminiscence, an image that's sort of in the mind, uh, something that's a, a bit of a memory that uh, takes me back to those places, not in a, a real literal way, but like you might have with a normal type of photograph, but in a way that's more of a, uh, a recollection of a place. Daniel, his work, uh, for lack of a better uh, uh, description, utilizes some mysterious transfers because I'm not really sure what they are. Uh, suffice it to say, the image is really invisible from the frontal vantage point. Uh, most of the images actually appear um, kind of randomly under odd light from a unconventional position. So in many ways, the image is always there. Um, and although it maybe asks a question, you know, the whiteness, the blankness asks a question, is there anything else there? Uh, the answer is never offered from that frontal position. It's usually making you work, think, crouch, wait, um, and discover something spontaneously. The most productive um, way to approach these pieces uh, is less what, they, what, what the piece can do for them, uh, but almost to sense to listen, almost if, um, if at all possible, to, to, to imagine those pieces talking to them. Uh, because that's probably the best way to establish the dialogue. Um, and, and to kind of feel that not more is better or less is better, but there's a balance between, uh, between that space of exchange between the view and the piece, and the piece itself, um, and kind of the dialogue that they can kind of, you know, bring into other dimensions, you know, other kind of facets of life. Join the artists for a gallery talk and closing reception held on February 3rd, 6 p.m. in the Hanover College Center for Fine Arts.